the issue now about voting in November is not about, you know, with my, the high gas prices. Um, more money going to Ukraine. Uh, no moral support for Israel. Here's the... It's not even about the dimension anymore. Because the issue was, are you willing to vote for the last segregationist who is very deep into dementia and who's obviously being controlled by everyone else around him to make him president? Knowing full well that within two years he'll be replaced by uh, one of the most disgusting senators in the entire state of California. Here's the question now. Are you willing to look five children in the face and tell them, I don't care your mother was murdered? Because we had an illegal alien, one of at least six million, if not 10 million, that may have committed other crimes in this country, but murdered a mother of five. So you have five children that have no mother. And they don't have no mother because their mother had cancer. They don't have their mother because, you know, their mother died in a horrible car accident that just happened to happen, you know, a snowstorm and a car accident happened. Their mother was murdered by someone who invaded our country. So you're willing to look five children in the face and tell them point blank, I don't care your mother's dead. What if it's you next time? Okay, what if it's your mother? Or what if it's you? Or what if it's your sister? Or what if it's your daughter? Okay, what if in the next four years, one of the next foreign invaders murders someone in your family? I have a friend who's a devout Democrat in the highest order. She supports illegal immigration. She supports men following women into girls' bathrooms. And... And I told the I had a conversation with her on Facebook about eight years ago. And the conversation came back on The conversation came back on Facebook flashback and I shared the conversation. And it was a big discussion about women following, you know, men following women into the bathroom. And she said, that, that won't happen, that won't happen. And I said, who's going to get raped? Men going into women's locker rooms, men going into women's bathrooms, who's going to get raped? And she said, that won't happen. Well, since that conversation, we've had a lot of rapes in the men's bath, the women's bathroom. A lot of voyeurism in the women's locker room. We've had underage girls have had their I've had men show them their dick in gyms and locker rooms around the country, primarily in California. But the the number one question is people are being murdered by foreign invaders. And if you're not willing to look a child in the face and tell them, I don't care, your mother's dead. That, that's the truth. Thank you.